Hello viewers and welcome back to episode 54 of Saving South End with me, Bell Nation. Today we're going to do a quick season review of our relegation from the Championship. Have a look at the games that we played since we got relegated. A few bits of transfer business already, so have a look at them. And then we'll leave it there, get stuck into the summer transfer window and we'll meet back up for the start of the League One campaign. Roll the intro and let's get into this. Just before we get into the season review, viewers, we played the last four games offline and to start with, we lost 4-2 to Barnsley with Archie Brown getting two goals in the space of a minute in the 18th and 19th minute. It's put us 2 up, but once again, our defensive frailties shone through and we lost 4-2. After that, we beat would-be champions West Brom 4-1 in an outstanding performance where Kubalali scored, Lundulu got a brace and Tim got one in the 91st minute as well in a game where we were 1-0 down and we fought back and got three points. We picked up back-to-back -back wins with a 1-0 win away against Millwall where Lundulu scored. And in the final game of the season against Cardiff, we drew one all in a game where we were leading once again and conceded in the 93rd minute and we saw the season out three games unbeaten. Hopefully, we'll be able to improve for next season and come straight back up. The season review then, viewers. The two best signings we made average rating-wise were Archie Brown with two goals, two assists in 14 starts and two appearances off the bench, average rating of 7.06. And after that was Lundulu with 32 starts, 5 appearances off the bench, 17 goals he got, 5 assists with an average rating of 7.01. And Yestin Lewis, who was out on loan all season, got 19 goals to his name this season. Maybe we'll have a look and see if we can bring him in next season. A man that we brought in later on in the season got 22 starts, 1 sub appearance, 12 goals, 4 assists. If we'd maybe had him and Lundulu firing all season, we might have been able to stay up. The board wanted us to fight bravely against relegation and we've done that apparently. We achieved that by finishing 23rd. Average home attendance was 10,836 fans, which is 89% of the Roots Hall capacity. And the top goal scorer in the league was Lundulu with 14 goals. FA Cup, we got knocked out in the third round by Tottenham Hotspur 2-1 and our board expectation was be competitive. And Lundulu was the only person to score in that competition for us this season. And the Carabao Cup, the board wanted us to reach the second round minimum. We reached the third round and got knocked out by West Ham, who trounced us 5-0, with the top goal scorers in that competition being Taylor Perry and Lundulu with two goals apiece. The moments to remember then, the, the biggest win was our 5-0 demolition of Oxford. The match to remember was our 1-0 away victory, which was our first victory of the season against Cardiff. And the goal of the season was Taylor Perry in the 90th minute in the two-all draw at home to Barnsley. Sponsorship money then is up by about 300,000. Broadcast revenue is up a long way by 2.4 million. We are going to see a drop in that as we go down next season. Corporate and hospitality is up about £10,000. Competition prize money, we got nothing this year, which is a big shame. Match day commercial and retail is down by 140,000. I would expect all of those to drop when we go down next season. 5,862 shirts sold, with the best selling shirts being Lundulu, Cummins, Malthrin, Parkinson, and Middleton. Young player of the season was Archie Mate, who will be here next season. Little spoiler alert, we've agreed that deal with Norwich and he will be here for his fourth consecutive loan season. Sign of the season was Lundulu. Goal of the season, Taylor Perry. Top goal scorer in all competitions was Lundulu with 14. Moses Lewis Stewart with 7. Most player of the matches was Lundulu with 4. And the highest average match rating was Archie Mayer, the goalkeeper of all people, with a 7. Worst discipline was Mel Mitchell, 15 yellow cards and 1 red. There are a number of contracts out this summer, which includes some loanees. Oli Turner's been playing the entire season without a contract because he wanted too much money. He's still going to be on £375 a week in League One if I can get away with it. James Collins, £3,400 a week, a move that didn't work out one goal to his name all season and he has got a future transfer agreed. Zach Medley is a man that I would like to keep around but it will depend on how much he wants because I think he will want an increase from £2,400 a week. Stephen Humphrey is a man that was probably unlucky this season to not really feature that much. Four starts, eight appearances off the bench, two goals, £2,000 a week. Age 27, he's probably going to be wanting to get away to play some first-team football, and I think it'll be difficult to keep him here after he's not really featured that much this year. Timothy Dieng, I think, 
At the age of 33, I'm going to see if I can get him as a coach because he's not really going to feature now, I don't think. Two-star abilities, way past his best. £925 a week. I think his time has come to an end, unfortunately. With Sean Malthrin's contract is up, he's on £325 a week. I would like to see him stay after his five goals and three assists this season. I think he could be a key factor for us in League One. Printer Tim, a man that I would, again, like to keep here. £900 a week, I think he will want a bit of an increase on that. 18 starts, 6 appearances off the bench, 1 goal, 2 assists. Like I say, I think there's still a lot more growth in him. Archie Brown, a man that will be going back from his loan spell, unfortunately. £2,100 a week, which is not sustainable in League 1 for a loan signing. Similarly, Kubalali will be going back as well, £1,900 a week. I mean, there's five goals and six assists going there, but I just think overall, did they have the impact that we wanted them to? Probably not. Will they have the impact next season? Possibly, but it's not worth the risk for the wages that they're going to consume of £4,000 a week. I would rather spend that on our own players. Sam Anderson will be going back to Arsenal. He was unlucky with an injury when he started, and I think he never really kicked on from that. Two goals, three assists in seven starts and nine appearances, but he really didn't impress me while he was here. Lewis Stewart is is someone that I would like to keep here if we can get him from Arsenal again next season. Three goals, seven assists in 38 starts and two sub appearances. Financial wise then, we have an overall balance of 2.1 million, which has slowly declined over the course of the season, which is a little bit worrying. But I think if we can sell some players in the summer, we will be able to address that. And I think some wage cuts are going to come the next season the wage budget at the moment is £76,000 a week and we're spending seventy four. With some of those players due to go, we've already sold a few as well, which I will show you in a minute before we do go. But I think those wage cuts will help us next season to balance those books. And the club vision then for next season, the board want us to achieve the playoffs. I, th I would like to go one better and get automatics, but I'm happy if that's what the board want us to do and grow the club's reputation, which we're on course to do. They're disappointed that we're not playing solidly defensive football. Again, understandable with the season that we've had, but they're satisfied with our counter-attacking football. And as I said, viewers, some deals have already been agreed. Samuel Boateng, a youngster who's never featured for us, he's got a free transfer to Motherwell. Marcus Cutler, again, another man that's been out on loan most of his career here, is going on a free transfer to Linfield. Charles Bolly, a really poor signing this season for me. He's going to Diasigior. I don't know how you pronounce that, for £400,000. He's not really worked out. I thought he was going to do a lot better than what he would have done. He's on £2,500 a week, so I think that was a really good deal for us to get him off the wage bill for next season. Jason Cummins is currently negotiating a move away for £100,000. He will give us £5,000 back into that wage budget, which will give us some money to spend. And James Collins, as I said in the season review, he's going on a free transfer as well and will give us £3,400 a week back as well. And that's it, viewers. The championship is done. Hopefully, we'll be back very, very quickly. We'll play the summer transfer window and pre-season and we'll meet back up for the first game of the League One season. If you have enjoyed that video, please don't forget to smash that like button for me, share the video around and subscribe to the channel for more content. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again for more next time.